Welcome to Reach for Healing. I'm Rebecca, and I'm in recovery from religious science. And this is part two to the real foundations of the science of mind. And what I simply wanted to do was to share some of the newspaper articles. So I'm going to share my screen. And I think these are in order of. Actually, no, I had a back share my screen and I'm going to start with the Forbes I'm going to start with the Forbes.com uh, article so Forbes.com has um, like the top eight scoundrels financial schemers and scammers posted on uh, their website and sitting right there and that's my alarm that tells me I should be going to bed instead of recording another video. Um, right there in a very short list that includes people like Bernie Madoff is Reverend Fenwick L. Holmes. Bernie Madoff's fraud was in part fueled by investments from wealthy Jewish communities in New York and Florida. Fenwick Holmes used religious affiliations to his advantage as well encouraging congregants to come to him with their troubles and then delivering sermons about prosperity and offering to share his secrets for a price. Indicted for mail fraud, it was actually securities fraud, it might have had some mail fraud in there with it, in the 1930s, but never convicted after he pinned the scheme on family members. Nice guy, Reverend Holmes was. So this is has nothing to do with me, has nothing to do with my blog site. It's saying right here in black and white on Forbes.com that one of the biggest scammers in American history, like Bernie Madoff, took advantage of people that he was connected to religiously. So that's the first thing. The second thing I want to share is from the archives, I believe, of the New York Times. I think this is the New York Times. So FL, or Fenwick L. Holmes, church loses four trustees. With the pastor under fire in stock deals, they quit board of Divine Science Institution. There was dissension in the board of trustees of the First Church of Divine Science, the pastor of which, Fenwick L. Holmes, is under investigation by the State Bureau of Securities for alleged mulching, mulching of his parishioners by selling them mine stock was revealed yesterday when it was learned four trustees had resigned at a meeting of the congregation in the homemaking center, Grand Central Palace, on Tuesday night. Meanwhile, at the Bureau of Securities, it was announced that an investigation was being conducted into the Amalgamated Industries Limited of Denver, Colorado, said to have been a merger of Grand Union Mining, Gold Mountain Mining, and Fremont Grant. Although Holmes has in no way been connected with Amalgamated Industries, he is said to have been at one time a director of Fremont Grant, the stock of which he and his brother William are alleged to have sold to members of their congregation in cities throughout the United States. So Fenwick Holmes was a shyster from the get-go, and he used his access to people in church to be that shyster. Now, I don't know if it's this particular... I don't know if it's this, this one or the next one. I have another. I have another one to share. This is from a month later, I think. Pastor indicted in sale of stock. Said to have gotten $100,000. Now, let's talk about, it doesn't sound like a lot of money in 2022, but $100,000 in 1930 is worth $1.67 million in 2022. So Fenwick Holmes, who convinced Ernest to come go into divine science, I wonder why he wanted Ernest to go into divine science. He was indicted on this securities fraud, and it's documented in the New York Times that he milked parishioners across the United States at divine science meetings. That's terrible. That's the real foundation of science of mind. And he got in trouble 
And let's just read a little bit more from this particular um, article. Fenwick Holmes, pastor of First Church of Divine Science, which for 15 years conducted services at the Waldorf Astoria, later at the Hotel Biltmore, was one of six men indicted yesterday by the federal grand jury on charges of using the mail to defraud in sales of mining stocks. So it was mail fraud. Other defendants, William Holmes, that was a brother of the pastor, um, says that defendants got $100,000, which again, I used um, an online calculator. That's $1.67 million in today's dollars. Um, the defendants obtained between $100,000 and $150,000. Um, so upwards of $1.67 million through sales of stock, which um, in a company which owned 44,000 acres of land in California. Um, the sales of the stock sales were misrepresentations. And it said that William Holmes sold stock in the Princeton gold mines. Again, Holmes is Fenwick's brother and Ernest's brother. Um, so this is talking about the, sh the stock shenanigans. The pastor, referring to Fenwick, soon afterward visited Atlantic City, where he delivered divine science lectures at hotels. There he is said to have met a Mr. Huber, who was teaching divine science in a boardwalk office. It is alleged that William Holmes was introduced to Huber as a great metaphysical teacher who could be trusted to guide investors in financial matters. They talked Huber into going into the stock selling plan with Holmes. And they promised him, the Holmes brothers promised this guy that he would be made a teacher in divine science in a million dollar university on the Pacific coast. So again, there's this thread of shenanigans, financial shenanigans and divine science. I love this paragraph. Fenwick Holmes has been under investigation for some time by the state attorney general's office. Interesting. So when I say that I have concerns about the foundation of religious science, the science of mind, this isn't some personal grudge that I have. This is historical truth from historical records providing support and factual basis for suspicions I've had almost from the very beginning. That's the end of part two. We'll talk a little bit more about these foundations in my next video where I'm going to go into a little bit more detail around what Holmes left out of his references to Emerson. And we'll touch a little bit on cultural misappropriation a la Thomas Troward. Until next time, take care.